Hey guys, it's Taco Die again, and with some more tier one uh, success tips, this time with the Ravager. I uh, started in a decent sized player match. As you saw, I don't think any of my teammates, maybe one, might have had a custom name, so these were all pretty new players on my side that Turpitz was just uh, shooting into the ground. So I'm not sure I can rely on them for a whole lot. So here we go. This is uh, an all tier one. Uh, Ravager, light armor, two light armors, uh, accelerators, uh, one magazine, one reinforced manglers, one magazine, one reinforced hammer, and I don't even, I, only, I think I only have one reinforced ammunition on the javelin. I'll finish that fellow off. All right, so you'll notice that uh, I pretty much just stay behind cover at all times, especially if I'm walking. It's sprint to and from cover. Just keep my nose right there in cover because javelins are going to be coming, torms are going to be coming. Uh, so just keep my nose right here in cover. I'm kind of just kind of assessing where I'm going to make my next play. They're just camping up there on the mountains. And so that aside from launching jabs, there's not a whole lot I can do right now. So I'm going to move over here where I can get a little bit closer to my targets and see what's going on. Those guys over there had hammers, you know, were ready to reach out. There's a bunch of stings. Stings are... Uh, Definitely a big nuisance in the game to a lot of new players And so I'm gonna kind of show you guys how to combat that uh, in this video actually All right, so I gave him a little bit of, I'm gonna back off. Uh, all right, he's flying So I'm gonna give him a little bit of damage. See it's just sprint from cover to cover unload Turn my sprint off, you know, I'm safe in here. This is where I'm gonna reload. I'm letting my uh, sprint Reload. I'm picking my next opportunity to run out there. Okay, I'm gonna sprint across this open area. I'm gonna make it to my next piece of cover. Hopefully, no one spawns right there. Well, we haven't killed anyone, so they're not gonna spawn right there. All right. So now I'm just staying here behind this cover, making uh, making plans. They're all just camping up there on the mountains. I'm sure everybody's pretty used to this by now. So I'm gonna. Wait for my opportunity to strike, but it's, I'm definitely not going to go out into the open and just let them uh, sting or tear me down. Oh, I knew he was going to spawn there. I just saw him die, so bunch of bunch of fire hide. Get my sprint back, shoot, and then poke back into cover. Let myself reload. Watch out for folks behind me. They're just camping up there. All right, I'm reloaded. My sprint's back. He's at 250 within range. Just sprint out. Unload on them, back into cover. Launch a javelin. Go ahead and reload. He's still staying out there in cover, or out there in the open. All right, I'm gonna sprint out there. Unload on them, at least five seconds out, and then five seconds back. Boom, so I'm not stuck out in the open with no sprint. All right, and he's getting all messed up over there. Launch another javelin, back here from behind cover. All right, let's kind of assess my next target. All right, we got a cord robot over here. Make the sprint across, finish them up, and then finish my sprint into cover. So that way I don't get stuck out here and get killed while I'm just walking around outside of cover. So keep my nose down right here. All right, we got a cord turp over there. He's a liability for points. I don't see any enemy right here. So I'm gonna sprint back across this area, back to more cover, keep my nose right here. You know they got plenty of stings and jabs. I'm gonna use this stuff to block those stings and jabs. And make my way back over here to my next place of cover. All right, uh, let's see what we got going on here. A whole bunch of red over, four red over there. Let's see if I can't pick one of them. So I'm gonna run out, launch a jab, do some work five seconds out, and then turn around and five seconds back. We've got a dabbling coming, make a sidestep. There we go. Get in cover. Don't waste my manglers in case somebody ends up here next to me, so just shoot my hammer when I know they're outside of Mangler's distance. I'm using this uh, using this little radar tower here to, for cover against stings. We got a sting nilly right there. He's cored, put a little damage into him, and back up. Get out of his sting distance. Let's launch a jab. Let's hide up under here so the jab doesn't hit me. Let's look around and see who my friendlies are. Alright, oof, that turps down. That was a liability. Right, let's get back, get back to cover. All right, I'm saving that sprint for when the opportunity is to make an attack. See, they're out in the open, and I can just, I can just get them. They're not being 
they're under no cover. So I can just pick and choose when I get them. Ooh, some stings. Do a couple of side steps there. Kind of limit how much I get hit by. Side step that javelin. So I use the radar tower for that javelin. You know, they're all focused on me and wasting so much of their ammunition on me. Really just poke out with some sprint. Hide, hide behind here. Look how many stings I'm blocking with that. I'm going to have to sidestep these. Sidestep. I still took a good deal to that one. I'm all the way cored because of that set of stings right there. That's five seconds out. And then, ooh, finish that fellow off. Launch a jaff. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Nice. Back undercover. All right. I don't think I can do a whole lot here. I think a little bit too much pressure, a little bit too much heat there. So I'm going to back off. I got some friendlies. We're a little bit in the lead. Let me go ahead and pick and choose the next time I'm going to engage. And it was a good reason I got out of there. They launched a beacon. Let me go ahead and get back here. Let me make sure there's no lights coming up behind us. Yeah, if I'm going to pick the next opportunity that I want to engage, I don't I don't want to be out on their territory. All right, so I'm going to get over here. Hide my nose up under this. That jab hits on top. I'm looking at him. He's out in the open, so I'm going to give him some, some mail and hide up under here so stings don't get me. All right, let's get out there. Make a sprint out there. My hammer's ready. He's past mangler distance, so I'm just going to shoot my hammer. Boom, finished him off. Hide up under here and reload. All right, let's assess, man. Let's see what's going on here. Um, we're a little bit ahead. Don't see too many folks around me. Looks like it's all going on that side. So let me move across the map over here. That's what's so nice about being fast. You're not stuck on one side of the map. You know, you can, you know, be where you need to be to have an effect on the battlefield. Right, so I'm hiding in here. Saw a couple of lights over there. Two lights over there. And then a turpitz. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to jab him because... In this condition, if he won, I can't even tank one Inquisitor right now. I've got no AP resist since my core's done. So I'm going to have to be really careful here. Our Nelly there is dead. And honestly, the best thing I can do for my team right now is just not die. You know, keep their attention and just not die. You know, make sure he's not on his own, but don't be a liability to the team. So they kind of expected me on that side of the ship, so I'm going to sneak to this side. See what we got going on. There ain't a whole lot of them left. There's that one turpitz. Someone's capturing C. Two turpits. Oh my lord, two turpits. Okay. And then, uh, ooh, they just killed our medium over there. He's dead. So it's uh, the light that's over there at C and two turpits versus me. I seem to get this a lot. I see, oh, there's our, there's our medium over there. I'm not sure what he's got going on. I'll just keep launching jabs, give them damage out in the open. Okay, fire a couple of shots and then hide. Sprint from cover to cover. So I just see the one there that captured C. He's got his eyes on me. So that means even if I were to make that poke out, he might be able to get a quick inquisitor shot on me. So I'm just not, not going to give him the opportunity. Okay, so he's looking away. He's looking away. Launch a jab. And then I see just his right weapons exposed. So I'm going to try to pick that thing off. Yep, I got a good deal of damage there. He might even be near cord. Me doing that much damage, uh, not quite. So let's see, he's not paying attention to me. Let's you know, let's take advantage of that. He's inside Mangler range. You know, that's two big sets right there. That's good. Got a javelin. See if I can't make. Uh, let's see what I'm doing next. Yep, make a sprint across. Launch a jab. All right, that quick, quick sprint. I dodged that uh, Inquisitor. All right, don't run out of sprint over here. So get back. Yeah. Yep. Good. They've got a lot of attention on that medium over there. Um, but let's see I'm reloaded he's inside damage I'm gonna do some damage oh man I might have put my nose out a little okay I didn't I didn't put my nose out too long and I put a lot of damage on that fella okay they got that medium too all right so there's one cord turp on my right there let's see oh he's looking dead at me I can't put my head out. oh we got a turp it's right here on our left oh my lord two seconds can I and then I just didn't have time nope he was focusing right on me all right, fellas, I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something about how to apply the Ravager here. And uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know.